Harvard biologists have uncovered a truly bizarre frog species that sports extendable claws, much like those of a cat. This hairy frog breaks its own bones to produce claws that puncture through its toe pads, likely when it feels threatened. Some salamanders push their ribs through their skin to create protective barbs, but scientists have seen nothing quite like this claw mechanism before. 9 out of 11 frogs in this genus have this feature, and most of them live in Cameroon. A bee's life doesn't have to end after it stings you. Some of them can carefully take out the stinger without passing away later. The bee starts circling around until it loosens and takes out the barbed stinger. After that, it just flies away without leaving any marks on your skin. Unlike wasps, which are carnivorous and can be aggressive, bees are mostly peaceful creatures. They either stay in their hive or move from flower to flower, helping to spread life on Earth because they're crucial for pollination. For bees, stinging is a last resort because it means demise for them, so they can choose not to do it to save themselves. You probably have heard that a salamander can regrow its tail if it loses it completely. Well, Mexican tetra, also known as the blind cave fish, goes further and can grow back its heart. Well, sort of. It won't get a new, full heart overnight, but it can regenerate its tissues. Scientists decided it could be useful for us humans, as they're studying these fish, to see what's their secret and why not all animals can play the same trick. Thorny devil dragon lizard surely agrees with the proverb, two heads are better than one. The knob growing from its back serves as a false head to trick whoever is after it. They also have a special camouflage coloring and a scary spiny body for extra protection. And if it doesn't sound cool enough, they also drink with their feet. Now that's a handy feature when you live in the scorching hot desert. The water goes directly from their feet to their mouths through little grooves between scales. Meanwhile, some flies have eyes on stalks. It might sound strange, but those stalks are super useful. First off, they give the fly amazing vision. So good they can even peek around corners. Secondly, these stalks can be used as tools to push away rivals. And the longer the stalks and the wider the eyes are set, the more attractive the male fly appears to females. It's like their way of showing off that they're strong and have good genes. Spiders have some seriously awesome biological tricks up their sleeves, or legs. Spinning giant webs of incredible strong silk to catch bad guys is a real superpower, and Darwin's bark spider is especially good at it. This spider can weave massive webs that stretch across entire bodies of water, with anchor strands that reach up to 82 feet long. Scientists were curious about how strong this spider silk really is, so they put it to the test. They discovered that Darwin's bark spider silk is twice as tough as any other silk and 10 times stronger than Kevlar, which is an ideal body armor material. The web can handle insane amounts of kinetic energy before breaking, ensuring that no tiny insect or a villain can escape its web. The real hulk of the animal world is the male horned dung beetle. It is the strongest animal in the world. This little powerhouse can pull 1,140 times its own body weight. Its secret to success is its desire to find a partner. Female dung beetles dig cozy tunnels under piles of dung for mating. When more than one male shows up, the competitors lock horns and wrestle each other out of the tunnel. Smaller beetles also have a chance, though, as they can move faster and slip into the tunnel more easily. Meanwhile, an alpine ibex has the superpower of defying gravity. Yep, it can scale steep rock walls just to get a lick of salt to complement its vegetarian diet. It's like when you storm the nearest grocery store for some late-night snacks. Back in the animal world, ibexes use concrete as an unconventional salt lick. Animals can't live without salt. They need it for their nerves and muscles to function properly. Wild goats have these rock climbing skills thanks to the elastic and rubbery pads on their hooves. They help them grip the rocks, and a hard, sharper outer hoof edge hooks into the tiny rough spots on the rock surface. Now, the pistol shrimp is just an inch and a half long, but it can snap its claws at a speed of 60 miles per hour. That creates a bubble in the water that forms a vacuum, and it sends a powerful water pulse that can stun prey. The snap is so intense that it generates a noise of 218 decibels, louder than a gunshot, 
and a temperature that is as hot as the sun's surface. There's even a brief flash of light. Some scientists are thinking of creating a mechanical version of the pistol shrimp to use in medical practice or for a new type of compression engine. Now, if you go hiking in the trails of the Pacific Northwest, keep an eye on the ground and any decaying trees for some bright yellow spots moving along. These are the keels of a dark centipede about 2 inches long. If you pick one up, it will curl into a spiral and release hydrogen cyanide, giving off a strong almond scent. This amount isn't enough to seriously mess up a human. It can just stain your skin or give you an uncomfortable feel if you're sensitive. So be sure to wash your hands after handling one. But the same amount can take down a bird or a rodent. Speaking of birds, crows can count vocally up to four. They're a lot like human toddlers when it comes to learning to count and quickly identify the number of objects they see. Scientists train three carrion crows to make a certain number of calls between one and four when they showed them a specific symbol or audio cue. All three birds mastered the task like pros, with some minor mistakes like one call too many or too few. Crows can also plan ahead and communicate with each other in a structured way. Cowbirds, on the other hand, have secret passwords they use to recognize each other. They're a type of parasite bird, something like a cuckoo, and they lay their eggs in other bird species' nests. This means the little cowbirds can't learn their real parents' calls and would have trouble as adults to find a mate of their kind. That's why they have an inner mechanism where they recognize their species singing like some sort of secret password that only they know. Hmm. Meanwhile, ghost crabs growl when they're around creatures they don't like or find threatening. They first show claws to intruders in their personal space to make them feel unwelcome. If that's not enough, they'll go for fearsome growling noises, like dogs. That sound is coming from rubbing their three elongated hard teeth inside their stomach. Teeth in your stomach, hmm. Ghost crabs make the same noise when they're grinding up food. When a puffin feels like it could use a good scratch, nothing can stop it from solving the problem. Researchers notice these birds pick up a small wooden stick to itch themselves. The authors think puffins might need sticks to knock off seabird ticks. Looks like it's more effective than using its own beak. There's an Indian elephant named Koshik who lives in South Korea and can imitate words just like parrots do. Koshik can pronounce the Korean words for yes, no, sit, lie down, and four other words. He puts his trunk inside his mouth and shakes it while exhaling to change the tone and pitch of the sounds he produces. If you can whistle with your fingers in the mouth, it's a lot like that. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.